ladies, we're we're standing around a table. We are standing. It's kind of nice. It is. It's, it's kind of nice. First stand this but week. It's a we first kind of have a hodgepodge of stuff on this table. We really though. do. But it's exciting stuff. It and is. Yes. Are you sure you're excited Exciting about math, math We know math isn't your favorite, but <laughs> I'll be excited about Press. Memoria Press. Okay. Memoria Press Algebra. Well, yes. I love that. I would like to introduce Memoria Press Algebra 1. Brand new, and right? It is, okay. yes. And it's written by Tom Clark and Tom Sculthorpe. And, and those I'll names sound familiar. Yes. yes, so Tom Clark is also the author of Video Text Interactive Math. Oh, okay. And he uses the same logical sequence of study mm -hmm. to introduce each new concept systematically. So okay. students should be able to use previous concepts to solve new concepts. Mm -hmm. And it's a neutral program, so charter schools can order it. Mm -hmm. um, the components are a student text that mm -hmm. you have in your hand, Nancy. Mm -hmm. And the student text basically starts out with objectives. It has important math terms. Mm -hmm. And then it has the examples of the new concepts with the problems worked out. Okay. And of course, the exercises then. Yeah, and I was going to see in this one, yes, which is the, the teacher teacher's manual. Guide. Has reduced, reduced copies, copies of the student text. Pages, yes. So the teacher can see exactly yeah. what the student is looking at while they're teaching. Yeah. Exactly. Gives them a little bit of confidence and yeah. assurance Absolutely. of what they're teaching. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, there's instructions on the side there. Mm -hmm. In the back of the book, there's a recitation schedule. That's the, very classical. Very classical. Yes, very it classical. is. Recitation, so yes. they're reciting all those very important rules. They are. Rules they're memorizing and, and mastering those important mm -hmm. math terms. And then there's an mm -hmm. algebra readiness exam. Key, or there's an answer key to it as well, okay. and the quiz to make sure that your students You're are ready, ready very for ready. this for the because type of it is algebra. Rigorous. Yeah, it okay. is. Yes. And then and you then, have two other components yeah, here. Yes. So the solution key is it works out all of the solutions to the student book and the quizzes. I and really like tests. the solutions keys, especially for math, because I feel like the answer key is great. You can check quickly to see mm -hmm. if they're right or wrong. But for a student who's struggling with a problem, that solution key is so helpful it's to go so back helpful. and see exactly where yes. they where they kind of check Went their own course. problems. Yes. 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 So we like it when they can do that. Very they valuable. can check their own problems. It'll show them step by step, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I do want to mention too, they um, also offer instructional videos by that Tom Sculthorpe. That's a yes. nice option. Uh, so we do have those as well. Um, so you don't streaming. have to have them, but if you want the support of videos, you can Absolutely. have Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Awesome. And Memoria Press also has a lesson plan book mm -hmm. as well if you want a schedule. So, okay, you know, nice. It's like a good schedule. Exactly. Yes. And you have something mathy here. Oh, look, yeah, but this is definitely for, for the little, little kids. kids. It's yeah. so cute. Yeah, it's the Montessori tactile numbers. Cute. You know, you have to learn your numbers before you can jump into algebra. Sure. <laughs> That's right. Let's see what we got. Right. So they come in kind of like puzzle form. Oh, cute. Um, so you have oh, every number on yeah. there. Yeah. And yeah. they are lightly... Ooh. Very sensory. Yeah, like uh, it's not like you're rubbing it's your finger not against no. but sandpaper, yeah. but it's nice. Very nice. And so you match the number. Mm -hmm. What do you have? You have two there. Yes. Two uh -huh. with the um, the okay. subitized. Uh, this is a nice big word I learned. That <laughs> is. Of uh, being able to identify a number just by how many are there without mm -hmm. counting okay. them. Mm -hmm. But then they take it one step further, and you have all of the little animal creatures oh, in here. Those are adorable. Uh, yes. And so then the student puts, you know, the meerkats. They could I think. have fun just playing with those. Oh, oh absolutely. Yes. <laughs> and so they're they're counting, they're they're, they're learning. Matching. Yes. It's a lot in just a it little is. number of puzzle. I feel like this would be a great thing for the younger kids to be working on while the older kids are doing great algebra. Yes. Because yes. it's a yeah. quiet toy. They can sit and work on it and play with the little yeah. characters and, yeah. it's very and learn, right? Absolutely. We love anything that can keep them learning, even yes. if you're not mm -hmm. able to 100% nice. engage with them. And so while many kids doing love school. the sensory these days. They oh, need that yes. sensory, that that feedback that they're getting. Yeah. It's just one more way for them to retain yes. what they're learning. Right. You know, you give yeah. them all of these different multi-sensory kind of ways of learning. Yeah. Yeah. And that better. looks beautiful. Oh, this, this is beautiful. Is so this is Frog's Rainy yeah. Day Story oh and other fables. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. The illustrations mm. in it are just great and mm. wonderful. They Cute kind chicken. of revamped the stories, mm -hmm. and so okay. there are nine little stories uh -huh. in there. Okay. And they're all just kind of teaching how to live in a godly way in today's mm -hmm. world. Okay. Um, which can be That's really important. challenging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even though they are little fables and stories, mm -hmm. they're, they're very short stories. Mm -hmm. The authors, um, it's a husband-wife duo, uh -huh. they have created uh, discussion guides 
for nice. little children, okay. but then a discussion guide for teens and adults. Oh, so you I could use that. this multi-family for Absolutely. all of your kids and read aloud. Yes. Awesome. And so not only are you reading a cute little fable in there, uh -huh. you know, the, the children's one has little activities where they're cutting and pasting oh. and matching oh. and Somewhere doing word searches. Okay. And, and these are free, Rebecca? These are free PDFs, oh, wow. yes, wow. which is so mm -hmm. lovely. So you can really go a lot deeper <laughs> yeah. than just reading yeah. the stories. And then mm -hmm. the teens and the adults one they're asking really good critical mm -hmm. thinking questions mm -hmm. they're yeah. having them dive into scripture oh, um, it's wow. just a so lovely then, way to bring in some family mm -hmm. devotion they're time. really learning some this practical is, life lessons yeah. there hardcover nice hardcover oh, you can yes. keep forever nice. it's going to stay on your bookshelf, on your bookshelf. Right? Yeah. 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 so you can so. have it when your kids kids are yeah. around someday yes. <laughs> so just a, lovely. a lovely addition to Very a cute. library yeah and family study nice Yours well, is kind of a family study. It is, and I'm excited about this because I feel like with this being an election year, it's especially important for us to be helping our kids to understand the importance mm -hmm. of the election. Not just the election, but exactly. the larger overall. You know, our wow. job as being citizens of the United States and understanding what citizenship is. I do feel like when you say civics, people think of high school immediately. Absolutely. Because it's usually required, you know, for high school. But this is actually an elementary well, civics program. it's important for younger kids yeah. to learn that. Too, it right? is. It is. Is. And one of the um, you know things we realize is that in order for us to be self-governing citizens, we need to understand. Uh, yeah. How did we even get here? Where did we come exactly. from? Why do we have all of these different? What rules are the three and laws? branches Isn't of government? Yes. Yeah. It really gets pretty in depth. Now, I will say so. Every lesson is a two-page spread, and there's usually one page of text with questions followed by a coloring page. So nice. it doesn't look like a lot for each lesson, but it's very, very um, concentrated, I would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. So they've kind of boiled it down to those most important things you want your kids to know well, about that topic. Yeah, and at least they're they're getting a foundation. Mm -hmm. So when they yes. do learn it later, later they right. remember that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, now book seven is actually um, folk tales and songs. Okay. And that one is nice to be doing no matter what other book you're on. Okay. So, um, and I think it has the Pledge of Allegiance in here. Here's Yankee Doodle. So a lot of those How songs fun. that we grew up hearing, we maybe didn't understand the meaning of yes. it. Why am I singing about Yankee Doodle? <laughs> and trying to understand, oh, that actually has to do with a specific war. Um, so nice. understanding the meaning of You're a Grand Old Flag and some of these really great songs that we've grown up hearing. Mm -hmm. So not only singing it, but learning kind of the history behind it. Yeah, so. and I feel like this really brings in part of that classical of, you know, your mm -hmm. the recitation, your you're always singing, you're always memorizing, and so this is helping them to memorize very important songs. And the other books, um, the workbooks, they're very open and go. And one, I, yeah. one of the things I think is so great is, you know, moms and dads are busy today. Mm -hmm. They're trying to multitask. This is a way to get history into your kiddos, and it doesn't take open very long. Mm -hmm. It's okay. very open and go. You have no teacher prep. You are opening up your lesson. Now, if your kids are younger, you're going to be reading this with them, and right. you're going to be asking them the questions orally. If they're older, they can read it, they can answer the questions, they can, can color okay. the page. Mm -hmm. You could also use this as a spine if you want to go deeper with any of these topics. Oh, but I, it's very thorough in its coverage, yeah. going all the way back to our history and our mm -hmm. founding, all the way through modern day. Yeah, you mentioned mm -hmm. in that book seven that there are their songs. Yeah. Now, are there audios and videos to go? There actually are. So there's okay. QR codes, and you can listen to those songs on YouTube or Spotify. So that is a really Good nice option as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I love it. It's really a great so nice. option for young Good. kids. Well, we've given you kind of a surface of what we have today. Yeah. If you want to know more or have other questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Give us a call. We always love to hear yeah. from you. Anytime. Absolutely.